ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'm pleased to present to you Donkey Kong Country, quite possibly one of my favorite series from the SNES era. There are very many fond memories come from this game, and many more. Not quite as good, but anyway, here we are joined graciously and eloquently by Donkey Kong. Are you damn hipsters in your newfangled music? Yeah, summer is TNT, because, you know, knocking someone off a tree is completely acceptable for that kind of behavior or whatever 1994 Nintendo this game is old as balls and I was able to beat this way back when I was like 12 years old I'm not even kidding you like 12 years old so anyway this is gonna be a 101% run of this I was actually used to be able to speed run this but it's actually really fun to get once you get into the swing of things get it because we're playing Donkey Kong country and he's an ape so anyway in Congo jungle join us for some jungle hijinks Yes, of course. So, of course, we're launched out of our front doors. Like, God damn it, I need to get that installed or re uninstalled. All right, so this is a pretty interesting game, to say the least. Uh, I thought the graphics were kind of weird, the 3D digitally rendered ones. But you go into his Kong horde, his banana horde. It's like, oh, what did I do to deserve this? So it appears as though King K. Rule has made off with all of his delectable yum-yums. So we're going to have to go get those back for the rest of the game now, pretty much. Which doesn't make sense, because you go back inside of his house for not only a one-up in the form of a red balloon. Remember, he has a bunch of bananas in here, as well as butterflies just chilling in there. A very untidy bed, moving portraits, and then a picture of his very attractive cousin in the background. Most likely related incestually, to say the least, so... Anyway, let's go head off over here where I was like, I don't really feel the need to explain the mechanics of this game, but there are a ton of secrets to find in this game, and I know pretty much all of them off the top of my head. But this, like I said, will be a fairly short series, um, probably a world per video. Oh, God damn it, I hate that. Ugh. Well, you can jump up there. Now, I like actually being Diddy Kong since he's a little bit faster, and I prefer the more agile characters in some senses. Like in the platforming senses, I like them to be, you know, agile and such, but you know, like RPGs and stuff, I really enjoy having the the very uh, bulky strong characters now these guys you can only destroy with DK by jumping on but you can't cartwheel into people there's a three up up there if you decide to go for it um, kind of screwed up there I don't really I'm not really going for the one up since I'm gonna stop after each world anyway just so I can at least practice up for the next one you've got Rambi the Rhino for every couple up or every couple every couple levels or so you'll be able to get an animal friend and use them to help you on your way um, they're not required to beat the level unless you're well I don't think there really is I guess it just makes it a lot easier but you can find these bonus rooms and the bonus rooms in this game you don't have to complete a hundred percent like if you fail in one of them you don't have to worry about going back to it in order to complete it because the bonus rooms are required to get a hundred percent so there's a Kong you don't need all the Kong letters and here's the second and final bonus room of the first level not too bad um we will get one of these I guess I don't know I oh, like as a kid I called these rewards but I want to say like medals now but I'll boost I'll probably end up just calling them rewards just out of habit once you get three of them you go to a special level designated for that I love how like DK's like yeah we did it man we we did it every time you sit like winks we did it <laughs> Yeah, we don't need that, so let's get the hell out of Dodge, folks. So, I don't know. It's just that, ooh, the aesthetics of this of this world is just amazing. I don't know about you guys. Rare is amazing. So, you notice the exclamation mark there. That just means we 100% of that level. Now, on to Ropey Rampage, which I think this one is is a level where it's just mostly just a drum track, which is the only thing playing, and then just, just ambient you know noises I, I just I don't know the atmosphere in this is just kind of cool even though the water is kind of grating on the thing so anyway it's like it's like the main theme to the game without the actual theme it's just the drums to it which is awesome I don't know um, so yeah now we've got pits of death here they were in the first one just not as prevalent as they are now so let's jump on this guy oh no just kidding there's a secret door down here that we can go and explore for a little bit um, so eventually I will be getting to DKC 2 and 3. 3 is the one I'm least familiar with, but I do enjoy that one more than this one. DKC 2 is obviously, you know, Diddy's Conquest is by far probably the best Donkey Kong Country game out there. You know, even more so than Returns, which I haven't played yet, but I've seen people play it. And I'm not really... I like how you can play both of the characters at the same time, but I don't... Uh, some things about it is just kind of eh. But oof, we're way over here now at the tire. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Now, okay, over here, we can jump onto the center platform. And we got ourselves a winky reward. <laughs> and I died. All right, damn it. Let's go grab over here and swing. Now, like I said, a lot of this game 
you, you, you know, you go into like a swing, whoops, swing motion, and over here, that didn't really make any sense. We got an arrow saying going this way, but we're gonna go down here because that is the final bonus room of this level. God, I'm talking. Oh God, I suck at these so much, and I don't think this is actually the final one. But <laughs> oh God, oh God damn it, this is gonna suck. Uh, oh, I got it. Not that it's really relevant, but hey, we got it. All right, I love how he's like, yeah, good job, man. Now for not time for me to take all the glory. <laughs> He's like, good for you, but I'm taking all, I'm taking the spotlight, man. Okay, so kill the asshole over there. I need to learn the names of all these enemies. I know they all appeared at the end, and I've beaten this game God knows how many times. I might, of course, I'm not going to make this jump here. You need to jump on the armadillo, man, to God, get it. Okay, one more time. If I don't get it, Donkey Kong can actually jump a little bit higher than Diddy. God damn it, screw it. But I wouldn't really recommend doing platforming like that with him. So here we have Cranky's Cabin, which is pointless. What do you want, damn? I'm busy. I am the crafty crock to push corners, crock collectibles, and coral crepers. Roll attack a baddie, your speed increases when you hit the next one. See you later, alligator. <laughs> That was such a terrible voice, but um, now we can head off to the caves, which I like how, you know, corresponding to where we are on the map, we actually are going inside some caves here. So this isn't a very difficult level at all whatsoever. This is actually probably one of the easiest ones in this entire game, probably easier than the first level, I think. But there's a lot more enemies and some secrets that are in some very strange locations, like strangely obvious like this one. So, and another reason why I like using Diddy Kong is because he holds the barrel in front of him, which means that if he runs into an enemy, it doesn't hurt him. But then he can also walk into the secret walls there that have the bonus rooms in them. Otherwise, Donkey Kong will have to throw them into him. And also, Donkey Kong, he just holds him above his head like, in, like a weirdo. So anyway, I'll head into this barrel room. Oh my god! What's going on here? I love how Donkey Diddy Kong's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh man, just a second of three in this level. Um, hmm, let's kill these jerks. So this is a fun game, you guys. If you haven't played this, I feel like you're missing out. I can see why some people don't like this, and I, I can kind of understand. Like, yeah, this game is not for everyone, but I just, I love it so much. <laughs> and it's not just this one. It's like all three of them are so similar that it's just not even, not even a contest. It's just like con a continuation. Now, nope, not this one. It's actually right over here, the final one. But I don't know. I like I like how this one has a theme though, because in the first one, in this one, we kind of have like a jungle theme going on, a jungle slash pirate theme. And you can see this in the enemies. In the second game, it's more like a pirate. Did I just say jungle and pirate theme for this one? I meant just a jungle. And then the second one is more like a kind of like an industrial pirate one, and the third one is like nature, which is awesome because it totally fits like everything. Uh, over here, we got on guard. Kill this jerk over here. So, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm actually playing this on the virtual console right now because I bought it on the SNES. I was talking about this in No More Heroes 2 at the very end, and I was playing it on there, but there's something about the frame rate and the controls that I cannot deal with in that game that, like, it's just, like, so foreign to me at this point, and I don't know. The main reason why I did that was so that I didn't have to suck at that. Ooh, Coral Capers, I love this. It's so that I didn't have to suck at the controls because the controls for the GameCube are kind of weird, but now I'm playing like weird where my fingers are on angle and stuff. But this level, this level is probably one of the things I think of when somebody says Donkey Kong, I immediately go to this imagery and this music. It's either that or Melancholy Madness or Minecart Melancholy, I forgot which one it was, from DKC2, which was probably one of my favorite video game tracks of all time. Um, but this this is really kind of a depressing one because because every time I think of that when I was younger I used to play this a lot like you guys know and There's this one day in particular where I was going through it and beating it like I think I was using Nintendo power To get all of the hidden secrets and stuff or something like that. I was using some sort of magazine and Like okay, I was doing that for like a really long time and You know we get like a phone call apparently my dad had to go to the hospital because he was walking home from his friend's house and he slipped on a patch of ice and it sucks because like he said he didn't feel it it was because for one it was freezing cold out it was like the middle of December and I was like literally 10 years old and he said like he like fell and he didn't feel anything but he took his boot off and it was filled with blood and he had like totally just fucked up his entire ankle and it's really depressing because you know I was like working on like a level similar to this. It wasn't exactly this one. It was the seizure-inducing level. 
but it was, it was really depressing. And so we had to go to the hospital to go see him. Well, we didn't have to, but I guess it was good of us to <laughs> as both a child and a family and whatever. But I don't know. It was really depressing. And right before we left, I remember it was like nine o'clock and there was like a, like a show, like a Donkey Kong show that was like 3D. And I don't even remember what it was called or I don't even know if it even was a show, but I remember I wanted to stay home and watch it. And looking back, I feel like really stupid for that. Oops, lost on guard. Oh well, don't really need him. So I don't know, this level always makes me think of it though. Which is kind of depressing, but I always like this game and this scenery anyway. So let's go head out here, finish Coral Capers. No secrets in this level whatsoever. So you automatically get that 100%ed. Each, each time you go through a bonus room and you beat a level, you get 1%. So for each bonus room you go to, you get 1%. And each level you beat gives you 1%. So that means there's 101 things. Here we are, Barrel Canyon Canyon. Um, okay, so let's go head on over here, and we got the cave, pretty easy stuff right there. Whoa, what are we, okay, so wait a second. No, what am I, oh god, I'm screwed up. Ugh. Let's go head over here. Uh, stupid, there, yeah, you're not getting me this time. There we go, so wait a second. Uh, I think I screwed up already, yeah, I did. I was thinking this was the one, this feels exactly like the very first level. But I completely forgot what you're going to want to do. Just head right over here. That's all you have to do. And is pretty much take the top barrel path all the way over here. Skip all this nonsense. I guess you could go down there if you want to have the easy route. Or more difficult route, rather. But, okay. So, and this song's pretty awesome, too. Uh, another Rambi Rhino Rhinoceros. We got KO. KO. Knockout. Okay, so after you get the checkpoint there, you head over here. And I'm pretty sure this is the one where you're going to want to take a semi-leap of faith. Nope, I didn't want to go that way. Maybe it is this way. I want to say probably not. Um, let's go take this back over here. Nope. Uh, it is. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Maybe we should just go for it. Yeah, there it is. All right. Whoa. So we just knock ourselves into a canyon and head over here for some barrel madness. I, I wasn't planning on singing it, but I guess apparently I started to. That song is so awesome to play acoustically. I don't know about you guys. It's super fun. I tried playing the solo, but you can't really do it acoustically and have it sound okay. Okay, so over here, over here, I think there's actually three in this room that we can go, or three in this area. So over here, this TNT, you're going to want to go head back up to this one, to the second hump. You get a hump from bending, and then there we go. In this room we've got, okay, so you can take the middle one for one up. Not that it's going to matter since we're pretty much at the end of this area already. So you don't really have to worry about that. And this guy's going to die. There we go. <laughs> Through the explosions of death, Diddy Kong prevails over all. Find out next time where we go to next. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I love how DK's always like, <laughs> okay. Ugh, there we go. God, this game is so fun. I don't know. If you guys haven't played this, do so immediately. Oops, I screwed up there. Now, this game makes it so that you can go through and just, it's, I, I you know, I said swing before, but there's a much better word to explain it. Like, so much fluidity goes into doing this. Like, you can do this without having to wait for any of them, which is what the game kind of intends you to do. So there's Kong, and we got all the secrets. I don't think there was a third one in that one, actually. Yes, the Barrel Canyon Cannon. I, I, I said Canyon Canyon twice tonight. Okay, Candy's Save Point. The subject of much controversy amongst Donkey Kong fans. Hi, I'm Candy Kong, and this is my save point. She's so bad in 64. I love how she kisses Diddy Kong. Child abuse slash animal abuse. Donkey Kong's like, oh boy, you better be watching out. <laughs> so anyway, we can go ahead and save. Oh wow, this is actually going a lot faster than I thought it was. Okay, so we're done with that. So we're at Very Naughty's lair. At the end of each world, there's going to be a boss. First of which is N Very Naughty here. He's laughably easy. He's basically a souped-up Goomba. There's absolutely nothing more to this other than just jumping on his head five times. All the bosses will take five hits to kill, so don't even worry about it, because he's dead now. See, that didn't really take that long. Yeah, you did it. All right, good job. Just that little wink and that little, like, motion he does. Cause, uh, I don't know. So we're done with Congo Jungle. Now off to Monkey Mines. Where the game is probably at my least favorite at this point. I'm not really a fan of this area, but now we can go to Winky's Walkway. Because that totally doesn't sound suggestive in the slightest. Not like this game ever is. Ugh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. My name is Elsa Cruz. And yeah, I sent it kind of backwards. <laughs>